For this assignment, you're going to have to reformat this script so that it is in a proper Hollywood script format. To do that, we are going to have to change eight things. The first of which is the margins. Margins are the space around the text. There's a margin at the top, on the left, on the right, and at the bottom. We need to make sure that each of these margins is one inch, but that the margin on the left is 1.5 inches. To do that, we will go to the File menu here at the top of the screen. Click, and then come down to where it says Page Setup. When you click Page Setup, you will see that there is a place for the margins. The top margin should be 1, bottom 1, right 1, but the left margin should be 1.5. Then you click OK. You'll see that there is now a larger gray area here than here. We have an extra half an inch, which is the way it should be for a film script. That's the margins. Next, let's add page numbers. To add page numbers to your document, we are going to go to the Insert menu at the top. We go to Insert, followed by Page Numbers. In a film script, the page numbers should be on the top right of the page. So we will click this little picture here, because the page numbers are on the top right. When we do that, the page numbers show up on this page, on this page, and on every page after. The next thing we're going to change is the font face. The font face is the way that the letters look. If I was to select this and choose some crazy font face, you'll notice that they look a little different, as you can see. A Hollywood script is always formatted with the Courier font face. So I could select all of this, but it's going to be a little tricky. A nice shortcut is to simply hit Control A for all on your keyboard. A for all. So on your keyboard, take a look at it. At the bottom left, you have CTRL. It stands for Control. You're going to click Control, hold it down, and then tap the letter A. When you do so, it highlights everything. Now we can go up to our font and choose Courier. Everything is now the Courier font. If you don't have the Courier font, if it doesn't exist and it's just not there, and you only have Courier New, by the way, don't choose Courier New. If you don't have Courier, you can come up to the top here and choose More Fonts. Again, that's where the normal font place is, but at the top it says More Fonts. And now there's actually lots of other fonts you could choose from. I recommend typing in C-O-U, and you'll see Courier show up. Just make sure it's checkmarked and click OK. Now you can select Courier as your font. The next thing we're going to change is the font size. Now if you haven't de-highlighted anything or deselected anything, you can simply click the plus button and make it size 12, which is what it should be. Or if you have de-clicked, hit Control A again and make sure that you select 12. The pluses and minuses work just fine, or you can simply click the number and choose what you want. In our case, Hollywood scripts should be Courier, size 12. The next thing we're going to change is this slug line. A slug line has three parts. The first part tells us if it's inside or outside. INT stands for interior and means inside. EXT stands for exterior and is outside. For this scene, it is interior of a bus and it's in the morning. The second part tells us where it's happening and the third part tells us the time of day. We are inside, first part, of a bus, second part, during the morning time, which is the third part. Now to correctly format this, we will select the entire thing. We will choose bold. We also need to make sure that it is all caps or that every letter is capitalized. To do that, easily, we can go to Format, go to Text, select Capitalization, and select Uppercase. Now, the slug line is capitalized and bold, which is exactly the way it should be. Next, let's talk about action lines. Action lines, typically written in the present tense, tell us what is happening on screen. Miles and Gwen sit next to each other. Gwen holds the broken device, the goober, in her hand. Peter is asleep. 
This is telling us what's happening. It's called an action line. They are left aligned. And we don't really have to change them. To be left aligned means that they are all pushed to the left side of the page. To be center aligned would put them in the center. To be right aligned would push them to the right. To be justified makes it so that they go all the way from the left to the right. If we had more lines here, you'd see that it was all justified. But action lines should be left aligned, just like this. Dialogue is when a character speaks. This is Gwen, and she says, he broke this? Now, obviously, to make sure our English is correct, we should capitalize he. Gwen says, he broke this? But now let's make sure we format this the way it should be on a Hollywood script. To do that, we need to make sure that the line Gwen says, he broke this, is below Gwen's name. So I'm going to click before the he and delete this extra stuff and then hit enter. We now have Gwen followed by he broke this. I'm then going to make sure that the word Gwen is capitalized. I do that by going to format, text, capitalization, and uppercase. Now I'm going to make sure that Gwen, now that it's capitalized, I'm going to move it to the center right here. By clicking center, it moves the word Gwen to the dead center of the page. I'm then going to go down to the line that she says. And this is the trickiest part, so please, please pay really close attention here. This is, this is, this is tough. A lot of kids mess this up. You're going to move this line one inch in. One inch in. And do not do spaces. No, 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 no. Please don't do that. What you're going to do is you're going to come up and grab this little blue triangle. Now, it might look like it works if you click the dash, but, but don't do that. Don't, don't click on the dash. You're going to grab the triangle right here, this little blue triangle upside down, and you're going to move it one inch to the right. Notice I go from zero to one. I then let go. And this is exactly how the line should look. Now, this whole, this whole little part right here is finished. I'm going to do the whole thing again on the next line. Miles, we have this space and dash thing we're going to get rid of and we're going to move it down. We do need to make sure that the Y is capitalized so that our English is correct. Also, this H should be capitalized because it's the beginning of a sentence. Also, this S should be capitalized because it's the beginning of a sentence. And now, we're going to take the word miles, and we're going to double click on it, and we're going to make it all caps. I do that by going to Format, Text, Capitalization, Uppercase. Miles is now all caps. I can then move miles to the middle of the page right here. Click. Now I'm going to take this, yeah, he's actually really embarrassed about it, so whispering. Just keep it between us, okay? So I'm going to take this line and I need to move it one inch in. I do that by taking this blue triangle and moving it one inch to the right. Notice it's moved this entire line over. So with a triangle over here, everything is over here. With a triangle over here, everything matches this dialogue line. It should look like an obvious dialogue line where all the dialogue starts. All right, let's just do one more and then I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna double click Gwen. And by the way, this can be done in almost any order. So I'm gonna do it in a little bit of a different order. I'm gonna go ahead and start and click Format, Text, Capitalization, and I'm gonna make this uppercase, right? I could also come over here and hit Enter, whoops, and hit Enter. I'm going to take Gwen and I'm going to put it in the center. I'm then going to make sure that the word laughs has a capital L, that I is a capital I, and that A is a capital A, because it's the beginning of a sentence. Now I'm going to take this line, and by the way, it doesn't actually have to be at the end. I could put it like right here in the middle or whatever, as long as it's on this line. Can't be here, but right here. And I'm going to take this triangle and I'm going to move it over to the one. Now, as you can see, we have this obvious dialogue line. The next line, Gwen and Miles smile at each other, is not dialogue. So it's going to stay on the left as an action line. Of course, the last, the, well, it's not the last line, but this next line, Miles, I'm sorry about your friend. Well, yeah, this one would be formatted, text, capitalization, uppercase. And then we're going to take this, bring it down, put in a capital I, take the Miles, make it center, come over here, and then drag this triangle over just like that. So obviously an obvious dialogue line, and then here we have this action line. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that this helps. Your job, your assignment is to finish this entire script so that it's formatted all correctly like this. Just to give you a heads up, there is one more slug line. It's down here. It's, uh, let's see, exterior. This is EXT. That means outside, street, outside Peter's old house, night. Remember, to do that, you'd make it bold, and you'd also make sure that it is capitalized. Right? I might even put an extra enter in there just to move it down the line. This is the second scene. All right, ladies and gents, uh, keep formatting everything uh, the way you see, the way that we did it here. And good luck.